So when I arrived in my new studio this morning, look around you, it's new, it's still echoey, we're working on that. But when I arrived here, I saw on Twitter a lot of various tweets about the new GTAB website. And I mean, look at it. It just looks really, really sexy. If we one more time refresh, there's a lot of these really nice animations. Everything moves. And if you keep on scrolling, there's just so many micro animations. And it's really great. But I am also a little bit disappointed. Because what I'm trying to teach you is best practices. I think animations are super useful and really, really nice. However, one thing that's way more important is accessibility. And that's honestly where this page lacks in. But it's so simple to add. Uh, let me quickly put on my headphones and open my voiceover app on Mac so I can show you what I mean. So the way visually impaired users often navigate a website is by navigating them by headings. And that's also why they are super important. And that is exactly where, in this case, the GSET website lacks a little bit. And it's not that they're not using them. They are using them in all of the right places, I think. However, let's quickly open voiceover on Mac and listen what happens when I select the first heading? Arc. Homepage vertical line beside. If you've Window. never heard this, homepage vertical line this is voiceover. Web content and this is focus. one of the tools. You are currently on web content. To enter the web <laughs> area, press control, option, shift, down arrow. If you've never heard this, this is voiceover, and this is actually what visually impaired users use, or at least one of those tools. Now, I can select every heading on this page one by one, so I can quickly scan through the content, and that is how visually impaired users, or at least one of the ways they navigate to the site. Now, let's first select the H1. Heading level 1, 25 items. A, image, N, A, I, M, image, A, T, 1, 14 more items. You are currently on a heading level 1. This is not useful at all. And what's happening here? Well, if we quickly inspect Developer to element pack less than body style data member equals false greater than expand voice overall. If we quickly inspect this heading, you see that it's split into different spans with each having their own letter. And that's actually what voiceover is reading. It is thinking every letter has its own meaning and should be pronounced separately because it's in its own container. And that's exactly where the problem arises. Because if I would turn on voiceover once more, voiceover on arc, homepage vertical line beside window. Home heading level 1, heading level 2, 55 items. This app allows you to level 1, E, level 1, F, level 1, F, level 1, O, level 1, R, level 1, T, level 1, L, level 1, E, level 1, S, level 1, okay. 44 more items. You voice over all. This is useless. Now, if there is a visually impaired user going to this website, they still need to know what GSEP is and what it does, but they can't use this page. And now, if we quickly take a look at one of the examples I made recently as well, and this is not to say that I'm the best at all, but it is proving the point that I want to teach best practices. And that's not making the most fancy website ever, but it should also be useful. Because if we now turn on the voice over here, and we go to this very first text, which also has an animation, if we quickly refresh, then you see that it also fades in. However, if we now focus this heading, heading level one, hello you, you are currently on heading level one, hello you, and if we go to the second heading that's also there, heading level two, this is written on a typing machine, tick 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 tack tack, it just you pronounces are currently on this a heading text. level two, and why is it any different? Well, firstly, it's still in all of these different spans, so it should be broken in the same way, right? However, there is one thing that's also added on here. And that is that the text is actually twice in this heading. The first one has a class name of screen reader only. So that means that this first label is not visible to people who are able to see. But that's exactly what is read by the screen reader. Because this second label with all of the letters split into different spans, that's hidden with ARIA hidden. So that means that VoiceOver won't read out all of these letters, but will resort to the previous span to read out loud to the user. And that makes the experience for the screen reader work as well. You could also use an area label attribute on your heading that would have the exact same result. However, you would still need to area hidden the text inside of it. Otherwise, it could still try to pronounce it depending on the screen reader you are using. So one more time, I think animations are nice, but are secondary to accessibility. And especially a big company like GSAP, who has a lot of very smart people there, 
I think they firstly should make sure that things like this just don't happen. And of course, we all make mistakes, but I hope that this video at least triggers them to fix that so visually impaired users can also enjoy this website, at least its content. So this was a very short impromptu video taking place in my new studio where I will share more about very soon. I hope you thought this was useful and that it inspired you to also think more about things like accessibility because this is very, very important. And as a front-end developer, it's our task to make sure that it is accessible to as many people as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.